What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend. Gang gang. Right, so I know a lot of you have been waiting for this for quite a while now. It was the um, second cops that I got from the Stone Island outlet. So it's all here guys, this is it all here. This is the items from the um, Stone Island outlet. Now I know I call it the Stone Island outlet, but it's actually called Present Store, okay? But um, it is part of the Stone Island distribution team over here in the UK, so they, they're all as one. So the people that distribute Stone Island here in the UK are also responsible for this brand here called Present, okay? And bam, this is all the items that I got in from there, guys. You saw that I've done the try on video already. Let's get rid of those bags. <coughs> got all the bits and pieces right here so I'm gonna go through each each one of these stunning jackets with you one by one BAM so these are all the bits man let's start off with the let's start off with the main one which is this one right here this one is called the nylon metal wax roll jacket um, sorry jacquard design jacket uh, when I saw this jacket I thought it was absolutely mental crazy design on the front of the jacket as you can see right there it's finished off in that nylon metal finish as well so it's got that kind of reflective shine to it I'm pretty sure this might be reflective in the dark or says shine I'm not 100% sure but judging by the material it does look like it might do that still looking at the fur on the collar at first I wasn't sure if this was even 100% fur it didn't bother me if it wasn't going to be 100% fur but when I did check on the label right here it did confirm that it actually was um coyote fur there you can see there it is coyote right there now not a lot, i know a lot of you guys are not feeling fur some of you are so i do hope that it is um, some type of <coughs> sustainable way that they are getting the um coyote fur jacket is using the vislon ykk zips now as you can see right there vislon ykk really really nice zip very 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 easy to use this you can do that all day and you'll have absolutely no problem so it's always good to see them using the Vizlon zips there and um, you've got a few pockets um, featured throughout the jacket so you've got a top um, tier pocket there two lower tier pockets right there on the side and again they are all using Vizlon YKK what I liked about this jacket is it was quite lightweight but it was still very warm at the same time there is some padding in between this as well so there is a nice bit of padding on there it's not overly thick and it's not overly um, light for me something like this is perfect in the winter time because you can wear like a jumper underneath nice big thick jumper um, so for example I was wearing the Stone Island um, waffle knit jumper here this one which is which is quite thick and then if I wore <coughs> when I wear the jacket over on the top of it it is really nice and very very warm one thing i would also say is the coat around the neck it kept my neck so warm it was actually it was absolutely ridiculous how warm that this jacket was keeping me so yeah very nice touch to see the fur on there and what's different about this as well is that there's no hood so the fur is actually just sits around the neck now for some of you who are not really into the whole fur thing you can simply just remove it here there is a ykk zip on the neck so you can take that off that can be removed so that's always a good touch always nice to see now some people might not be too sure about the color i absolutely love the color i thought the jacket was absolutely amazing one of my favorite pieces this one i've got the stone island arm badge there as you can see so that's always a nice touch we can see that they're using the um, stone island double dye formula in a resin coating and anti-drop finish yeah for real when i wore this in the rain once the, the water just bounced off it no problem i didn't get any issues of the water seeping into the jacket um, and sitting there which you can get on the Montclair Meyer sometimes which is my only gripe about the Montclair Meyer so yeah guys that's it that's the nylon metal wax row jacket there this one is I think this is like two seasons old maybe two years old so yeah running around with that a bit one of my favorite pieces that one super cool now another jacket here that you can see this one is called the I've got the label inside so hold tight let me see Okay, thought I had the label, and now I can't find it. It's not my day today, man. What is going on? I just had it earlier on. But this one is called, I think it's called the Philly, the Philly Watro, the Philly Weft jacket, or something like that. Um, now, what was interesting about this one is, you can see it in production. It will not have the little flap on the left side of the neck very very interesting so what this suggests to me is this was actually a sample jacket and 
this was probably the first production of this sample jacket made. Now whether this jacket was actually released or not, I'm not sure. But what they usually do is, when they're making their designs, they'll make a prototype. So this is actually a prototype piece right here. And what they're saying is this bit right here, when it comes to the final production, or when it came to the final production, because this is probably a few seasons old, old now, they will not include this part, they will take that off. So I thought this was a very special piece because technically what this means is this jacket has got the only, is the the only jacket running around with that part on there I mean don't get me wrong it's not such a huge big deal but it's always nice to know that you've got a sample piece which was probably the first part of, of, of this collection but um, this jacket was you can see there it was 525 it went down to 263 size large now funny enough you lot might have a laugh at this one but this jacket here this was my favorite out of the three now the reason why that is is because it's a classic bummer jacket it looks, it actually looks a lot lighter than it is, but it's not light. Don't get it twisted. There is some insulation padding inside the jacket there. The front of the jacket has almost like a wax type finish. And I really love the feel and the comfort of this jacket. I've been rocking this quite a lot and I really, really like this piece, man. One of my favorites, this one. Uh, I'm sure, I, although I don't know what technology it's using because it's not telling me, but I'm pretty sure that it's got some anti-drop finish. It looks like it's using um, the double dye process in there as well. Obviously, we've got the um, Stone Island badge there, as you can see, which is all good. And of course, we are using the Vizlon uh, YKK zips there again. So that's always good to see. So that's a big blessing. We've got the 30 logo there. You can just get your mobile phone, use the QR code reader, and you can just scan that to ensure that your jacket is 100% genuine. So yeah, this one's my favorite piece out of the three guys. Absolutely love this one. Really, really nice jacket. Gonna hold on to that for a little while still. That one ain't getting anywhere. So many of you um, send me in questions asking me to do, um, do, do a review on the Shadow Project or to let you know a bit more about the brand. So we've got this jacket in so I can give you some info on it straight away, man. Super nice piece, this one. Let's have a look at it in more detail. So guys, this is it. This is the Stone Island Shadow uh, Projects jacket. Now, just to let you know a little bit more about Shadow Projects, because I didn't know up until probably the beginning of the year, I wasn't really too familiar with what Shadow Projects was. Um, Shadow Projects is actually a collaboration between a Berlin-based brand called Acronym. Now, Acronym are um, quite big in outerwear jackets. They're probably similar to Stone Island. They're quite technical, but they're big over in Germany. Now, they met up with um, Stone Island, and the guys, when they met, absolutely loved what e each other was doing, and they decided to do a permanent collection, um, collaboration collection, which is now called Stone Island Shadow Projects. It's, it's typically more expensive than the normal Stone Island stuff. You can see here the jacket was um, originally 975. It went down to half price at Four eight eight. Now that's the original Stone Island um, Black Shadow Projects badge there. So many people are after this badge. This badge is like gold dust. Now there's a lot of these running around on eBay with a little ticket like that on the back sitting on eBay saying brand new. They're all fake guys, okay? You can't get Stone Island badges anywhere unless you get it from Stone Island, which they don't really give out, unless you get it from the outlet, which they don't really give out, or unless you get it from eBay. There are genuine on eBay. I would say try to look for one that's not new. Anyone that's selling it's new, it's likely to be fake. Try to find one that's been used, okay? Now this jacket was, is really cool. You can see it's got a fishtail finish there. It's a Parker jacket. What I thought was really cool about the jacket as well is they've got some little buttons there so you can button that up if you don't want the jacket to have that fishtail finish at the bottom. But obviously, to me, that's part of the Parker, so that's one of the reasons why I really like the jacket. Um, the second feature that I really love about this jacket is it's got some pull cords on the waist here so you can see the pull cord going all the way through and you can actually pull this jacket in just like that so you can taper it at the waist which is um, really nice. It's got a um, second inlay feature here now it's a bit weird this one it doesn't come off so there's, there's, no, there's no way of taking it off but if you look on the inside you can see the beautiful fabric here on the inside and this type of material on the inside is it's been designed to keep you warm so this even though it's a lightweight jacket there is a bit of insulation here on the inside to keep you warm so that's really dope um, the zips on this one are YKK they're not YKK Vizlon just like a standard YKK but that's still fine I can see straight away that this is still a very good quality zip now if you look on the color there I believe this is Coyote fur they've gone and dyed it I think a little bit orange 
Um, or is it meant to be like that and it's Fox? I'm not sure. I think they've just dyed it and it's Cody. Now, again, you can, I think you can take that off if you want to. Yep, you can. It's using a Velcro and it's also using, yeah, it's using a double Velcro system there. So you can take that off if you don't want to rock the fur because I know some of you don't like doing that. Um, in turn, you can also take the um, hood off as well. You can see it's got some button features there. So if you just undo these buttons, you can take that hood off if you want to. But I don't see why you want to. I think it adds to the character of the jacket personally. You can see here we've got a little side pocket there where the badges, you can put um, some items or whatever. You can put your wallet or stuff in there, which is quite cool. But the finish on this is really, really nice. And it's got a bit of a shimmer shine to it. You can see it almost looks a little bit reflective. Dope jackets man, I, I, I must say this time around I picked up some real dope jackets over from Stone Island so that's the review of them, that's my thoughts. Most of these are sold out now, I did jump back over to the Stone Island outlet about a week after that and I went a bit nuts and I bought some more jackets here, I was to check these crazy pieces out. Got the heat reflective jacket right there, I got this crinkle reps jacket right there. I've got this poly composite jacket right there, so I will be doing a full review for you guys on these pieces, showing you exactly what they're saying. Not only did I pick that one up as well, but look what else I picked up from the Stone Island outlet. You lot are gonna go nuts. Bam, got myself another presidential knit, yo. You lot know I'm absolutely crazy, man. Got myself this presidential knit. Gonna be doing a full review for you, for you guys on this one, man. Showing you exactly what all these items are saying, okay? So that's it, man. You know Hoxton's got you covered when it comes to these reviews. Listen, I've got my new email set up now. That is working. Competition date should be coming next week. Um, I've got last few emails to send out to you, but most of you guys should have got your emails now with your giveaway number, so do hold on to those. Um, wait wait for Sunday for all of you, the remaining. I think there's probably like about 40 people that haven't had the numbers yet, so hold tight for those numbers. They will be coming by Sunday, and next week I will be doing the giveaway, okay? Let me just show you the hats just to what your appetites look good. Um, guys, these are the hats right here that I'm gonna be giving away. Hold tight for them. I know it's been taking a while, but Hoxton's been super busy, yo. And I had some mad, crazy email problems, but they seem to be sorted out now. So I'm happy as landy, okay? So that's it, man. That's it for the reviews. I'm gonna sign out. I've got tons of stuff to do today, tons of work to do, so I'm missing, okay? I'm gonna catch you lot in a bit. Well, I'm gone. Peace out.